It's very interesting that when I was a young plastic surgeon, the most common operation I performed was a breast augmentation. And now that I'm older and have more experience, the most common thing is a replacement of implants and a breast lift. But I do a fair amount of augmentations as well. That and breast reductions and tummy tucks and liposuction are perhaps the commonest body operations that we do. A tummy tuck is indicated when there is a roll or a fold of skin which is sort of hanging downwards. The problem with going and doing exercise is you might lose some weight, but you'll still have that fold. The fold may be thinner, but you'll still have an overhanging fold. So certainly when uh, you've got a fold, a tummy tuck is the way to go. If you've just got a bulge or perhaps too much abdominal uh, fat, um, with pretty good skin tone, then perhaps liposuction is something you might consider. Over the last maybe 20 or 30 years, I think we, we, it's fair to say that breast implants have improved dramatically. Beforehand, it was one size fits all. And it's not one size fits all. For a 300cc implant, for example, there may be four different sizes. In other words, high profile, low profile, intermediate profile, in other words, the footprint of the implant will vary for a particular volume. So now we have to use measurements and charts so that we fit the actual implant to the individual themselves. My breasts after children, um, they sagged and it was uncomfortable. I didn't, I didn't like the feeling of, of it. it. It weighed down and I didn't like the skin to skin contact that I had underneath. I did the breast implants with the breast lift and a month out and I can't believe incisions. I, I hardly have any. I am not exaggerating at all. I can't believe it, you know? I, I don't know why I, I was so frightened of it before, you know? And now I have perky breasts that, I, you know, I think are great. I had a mammogram done, my annual mammogram. In the process of that mammogram, they ruptured my implants, I have implants. I went and saw two other doctors and also Dr. Boyd, so I got three opinions. Dr. Boyd was the only person, the only doctor, that made me feel at ease, explained everything in detail to me. I had, any question I had was explained to me, but the best thing about Dr. Boyd was that he made me feel like I was his only patient. He did the lift and I was really, really impressed with the results and I am thrilled. I am thrilled. 